Hello, my name is Garrett Harmon, and today we're going to talk about best practices for 3D printing jigs and fixtures. Jigs and fixtures are vital for a great manufacturing process and can be found on the manufacturing floor in all major industries. This is because both the jigs and fixtures accomplish one very specific and important task. Holding parts in proper orientation while an operation is being performed on that part. For example, drill guides, assembly disassembly jigs, grips for robotic arms, and post manufacturing check fixtures are all examples of jigs and fixtures being used today. Because jigs and fixtures are used on many different types of parts in many different industries, they themselves must have a wide variety of properties, affecting their strength, flexibility, chemical resistance, electrical resistance, and even flame and smoke resistance. In the end, we may not know the exact jig and fixture that's perfect for you and your application, but we can help provide some easy guidelines for both material selection and 3D printing to help ensure your 3D printed jigs and fixtures are the best they can possibly be. There was a time when most jigs and fixtures were made from aluminum, machine Delrin, and used metal hardware. This method produces a heavy, expensive fixture that may take some time to produce, all with materials that limit functionality and design. Today, very few fixtures need to be metal, and some even can't be metal, as metal can scratch critical surfaces and prove difficult to handle. Here is where additive manufacturing steps up to the plate. With new next-gen additive materials, jigs and fixtures can now be produced with durable plastics that are equal in strength while being lighter and cheaper, while still offering various electrical, mechanical, and thermal properties. Some of Ascentium's great materials for jig and fixtures are PCTG, a low-cost PETG copolyester that has high impact strength, HTN, a chemical resistant nylon that has high temperature resistance and very high durability, and finally HTNCF, the same HTN with a 25% carbon fiber loading, a material that has a very high strength and a very high working temperature. So no matter if you're printing a fixture that needs to be ESD safe or withstand high temperatures, have pinpoint accuracy or be chemically resistant, Essentium has a material that can be right for you. Now that we have the material dialed in, let's talk about the printing process. I like to break it down into two sections for best practices, pre-print and post-print. Before printing, it is crucial to ensure that you have selected the correct material and have dried the material. This can be done by baking the filament in a high temperature oven, then storing it in a dry and monitored environment. Having dry filament is one of the best things you can do to make sure your prints come out looking fantastic every time. Additionally, before printing, take the extra time to ensure that your slice has been optimized. While most platforms have an auto slice feature, Taking the time to ensure your build has optimized temperatures, tool paths, and bed positioning can make the difference between a good part and a great part. As a side note, these materials may be new to you and your ecosystem, so it may be beneficial to identify a couple of materials and get really good with them by practicing on smaller, non-critical parts. After printing, parts are generally removed immediately and put to use. However, for parts that have critical dimensions or that are prone to warping, you may remove the build surface and allow the parts and the build surface to come down to room temperature together. Once cooled, the part can be easily removed without the possibility of warping the part while removing it from the printer. Additionally, after printing with a new material, it may help to subject that part to any environmental conditions the end use part will experience while being used. Understanding and seeing how new materials behave when under stress can greatly help in setting up the success of future prints. Overall, these tips can help not just produce great jigs and fixtures, but also aid in developing out greater applications and unlocking the full use of additive manufacturing for your team's benefit. Here at Ascentium, we are delivering high-speed, large-format parts for your needs at scale. Having materials and a machine that are developed for manufacturing engineers by manufacturing engineers, we understand how important it is to deliver 3D printing solutions without compromising on either speed or accuracy. Offering a large breadth of materials from ESD to high temp to low cost, we are delivering materials that can work for you, allowing for fast, accurate, in-house fixture making. To learn more about best practices for 3D printing high-quality jigs and fixtures for your enterprise, please contact us at ascentium.com.